Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question that I've been asked a lot over the years, and that is, how do you know how much fabric to buy when you're fabric shopping? There are a lot of factors that go into deciding how much fabric you're going to need. So I'm gonna give you my tips and advice that I've gathered over 25 years of sewing, and I'll even reveal the magic number that I always buy when I don't know what I wanna sew. I'll also be sharing my list of sewing supplies that I always like to stock up on and always have a good supply on hand. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do when you're shopping for fabric is to look at the width. If you're shopping online, they should say that in the product description. And if you're shopping in a store, it'll be on the end of the bolt. So fabric for garments usually comes in 45 inches to 60 inches wide. And the wider your fabric, the more fabric you're gonna get per yard that you buy. So I always like to buy the widest fabric that I can because it's more value. You know, you they don't usually cost less when it's a narrower fabric. So I always like to get the widest possible fabric because it's just more bang for your buck. So if you're trying to decide whether to buy two different fabrics and otherwise they're totally equal, I would go with a fabric that's wider. After you know the width of your fabric, you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself, do I know what pattern I wanna use? If you know what pattern you wanna use, then go grab that pattern or look it up online and go find the chart that's gonna tell you how much fabric you need for your size. That chart should give you a pretty accurate estimate of how much fabric you're gonna need. But if you are tall like me and need to add a little bit of length or you just like a longer garment, then you'll probably wanna buy a little bit more. And that's probably about a quarter to a half a yard more. Um, I would probably buy half a yard more and you'd be totally fine. Um, I don't always increase how much I'm gonna buy, but I always increase the length and everything. Um, usually there's a little bit of wiggle room, but it'll kind of depend on the fabric company. If you don't know what pattern you're going to use, the next thing you want to think about is what is this fabric suited for? Not all fabrics are suited for all kinds of garments. Like right here, this is a linen. It's suited for a lot of different garments like dresses or tops or skirts. <laughs> but here's a sweater knit. And so you're pretty much just gonna wanna make a cardigan or a pullover sweater with this kind of fabric. Something like denim, you can make skirts or shorts or pants, but you're probably not going to wanna make a really flowy dress or top. So now that you've thought about what the fabric is suited for, you wanna think about your personal preferences. What do you wanna make out of this fabric? For example, if you have a sweater knit, do you like to wear pullovers or do you like to wear a cropped little sweater? Do you like to wear a very long cardigan? Maybe you have a linen that's a really busy pattern and you might be comfortable wearing that as a top, but not as a maxi dress. So those are just things that are going to be personal preference. Maybe there's a color that you really love, but you don't like it as a top, but you do like it as a bottom. Those are all things that you want to consider when you're thinking about what will I use this fabric for? So now that you have some ideas for garments in mind, you can start drilling down to how much yardage you're going to need. I'm going to give you some general estimates for how much yardage you need for different kinds of garments, but do be aware that sometimes if you're sewing a larger size, you might need a little bit more fabric. Additionally, if you're using a pattern that has a lot of volume or a lot of details and a lot of pattern pieces, you might need more fabric than a more simple garment. As you sew more, you'll get to know how much fabric a certain pattern needs and how much fabric you generally use for a pair of pants or a top or a dress. So if you are going to buy one yard of fabric, you can generally make a simple top, like my Lou box top. You can make a tank top, a pair of shorts, or a short skirt. 
If you get one and a half yards, you can make a top that's a little bit more complicated or a skirt that's a little bit longer or more voluminous. My Lila skirt is a really great pattern because it doesn't take a lot of fabric. And if you just make a short skirt, you can often do it with only one yard of fabric. One yard of fabric is also often enough to make a t-shirt. So if you're looking at a knit fabric, you can often get one yard and make a nice little t-shirt for yourself. With two yards of fabric, you can make a long sleeve blouse or a more voluminous shirt. You can make longer skirts or pants, and you can even make simple dresses. If you're looking at knit fabrics, you can even make a sweatshirt out of two yards of fabric. My alley sweatshirt can often be made with just two yards. With three to four yards of fabric, you can make a more complicated, voluminous dress or a jumpsuit. When I'm fabric shopping and I really love a fabric and I think it's a good deal, it's not terribly expensive and I have no idea what I want to make, I go for three yards. Three yards is my magic number for fabric shopping. With three yards, I can often make multiple garments. I can make a skirt and a top, or I can make a more complicated dress. Very rarely you'll find a dress pattern that will need four and a half to five yards of fabric. Um, there's one dress that I made last year. I'll put in a photo here. It's a Vogue pattern and it took about four and a half yards of fabric. So that's really a lot of fabric and it's gonna be really a pretty big investment for your money. Um, but in general, dresses are just going to be two to three yards. With one yard, you can make a simple top or tank. Um, again, sweatshirts for two yards. But three yards, you're going to have enough flexibility that you can pretty much make any pattern. So while you're fabric shopping, you might also be thinking about sewing supplies and wondering if there are certain things that you need to stock up on. The things that I always like to have a good supply on hand of are reusable interfacing. When it's on sale, I'll buy like five to 10 yards at a time because I know that eventually I'll work through it all. The other thing I like to stock up on is thread. So when thread is on sale, I like to stock up on white, black, navy, and gray. I sew with a lot of blue and gray and gray is actually a really nice neutral color that works with a lot of different fabrics. Another good thing to stock up on is machine needles. It's really good to have a variety of machine needles, um, all the universal and different weights, plus ballpoint or jersey needles for when you're sewing with knit fabric. I also like to have a good supply of elastic on hand. I like to have one inch or one and a quarter inch wide elastic and one quarter inch wide elastic. It comes in really handy and it's nice to know that it's just always there when I need it. Additionally, if there are certain kinds of zippers that you know you like to use a lot, those are really great to stock up on. And while you're at it, rotary blades are also really great. It's the worst when you're trying to go cut out a project and your rotary blade is too dull. So I always like to have a good supply of sharp rotary blades for when I'm ready to cut out a new project. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'd love to hear if you have a magic number for when you go fabric shopping. If you've enjoyed this video and my other videos and you wanna support the channel, I have a link down below to my pattern shop and a link where you can buy me a coffee and donate money to the channel to help keep it going. I release about one new video every week and you can subscribe down below and then hit the little bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing.